we're building a home AI data center. And I have to tear down the existing data center to do that. Today, we're gonna to do that. I'm gonna talk about some of the reasons why we're changing out certain pieces of the hardware. And in particular, we're gonna have a lot more focus in the new setup on high performance storage and network share storage in particular than we had in the existing setup. Let's get started. The DS4246 will be a mainstay in our new setup as well. We've got a lot of DE6600s. Those are going to be coming out and we're going to be removing our R720 XD, which was our old head end and replacing it with dual R730 XDs. Really good machines and very affordable. The R930s will be coming out. Two of them will be put back in and we will keep a terabyte of RAM in one of those. The T620 was a great machine. I really think a T630 could be an awesome machine. However, unfortunately, the motherboard is dead in that. So I'm just going to be pulling that one out without a direct replacement. And definitely the DE 6600s, very, very heavy. I would definitely recommend not putting them in as high as I put them in. And definitely you probably want to have some hands helping you if you are removing them or installing them. Really good for bulk storage, but you with 60 disks at SAS 2 speeds will not be able to hit your max theoretical bandwidth with them. So that is a bummer. Now, our new setup, being based around 24 drive JBODs, will absolutely be able to hit its maximum theoretical performance and will have a ton of HBAs. Those HBAs will be moving hopefully up to 9 gigabytes per second of data versus the roughly 3 gigabytes per second data that I was able to transfer on the DE 6600s. We will be putting one of the DE 6600s back in as a defrag, which will house quite a hodgepodge of disks, but those hodgepodge of disks will allow me to copy data and copy it back, something you need to account for if you have ZFS and you want to defragment your data periodically. The tape library is a MSL 8096, which will definitely be coming back in as part of our Proxmox backup server. Next up, I am removing our Eaton 9PX11K. We're going to be giving it one extra EBM, so it'll have a longer battery runtime, and some of the load will be shifted from this in our new setup. The networking gear will have a separate dedicated UPS that is an APC 1500 RM2. And if you been following along with the channel for any amount of time, you know that I like to complain about the server racks that I had. Those horrible Dell old racks will be replaced with APC net shelters, and not just any APC net shelters, a 3350 and a 3150. The top of the line server racks out there, real pleasure to work inside these. And be sure to check out the channel history where we built all of this that you're seeing, including the carpentry work. And we did the power, we put this all together, tons of amazing content that you probably would like if you're thinking about doing anything home data center related. And definitely one of the biggest takeaways is a general purpose storage setup is not going to translate well to a high performance networking storage and GPU centric cluster like you're going to want for something that is powering and backing your AI. Oh, getting rid of those feels good. Out with the old and let's get in with the new. All right, let's get these new APC net shelters moved into place. Oh my gosh, these are really nice, right? These are such good racks. Oh wow, there is so much room for activities in these bad boys. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So if you're interested in learning about setting up your own local data center, local AI data center, you definitely wanna make sure you hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notified when our next videos drop. Big shout out to all of our channel members, everybody who buys me a coffee, and our Patreons. And boy, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna have videos out over the next several days covering the topics as we put this together. Assemble it, power it up, and test it out. I hope you're ready. This is gonna be a pretty crazy week. I will check you guys out next time. If you are interested in learning more about these kind of topics, make sure to check out these videos here where we actually built everything and I give you a ton of rack FAQs.